Alrighty guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, shop update time. It's been a minute. I've actually recorded several, I just never uploaded them. So, we're just gonna do this quick. I got 37 minutes of video left on this phone. I'm gonna delete everything after this. Uh, so, let's spin around. Totoro's bike is back. I have new OEM head bolts, new head gasket. That sucker popped a gasket 100%. I'm almost 99.99% .99 positive it popped a gasket. You can't see it in the video, but there's blue fucking shit all down the side and it's got brand new radiator on it we thought the radiator cap was bad or the radiator cap seal was bad no it's just freaking straight up got a head gasket so it is what it is warranty this is why i stand behind my shit i get to put a head gasket in it i did not overheat it just pressurized and popped so that's good uh i've got a carb bike here three man's bike uh it's getting old. he's got a set of electrons on here i'm wiring in a firestorm and the starter circuit charging system, all that good jazz. This shouldn't take too long to button up, but he does have a lot less here than he said. Yeah, I got a roller with a motor, and I was expecting a bike that just needed the firestorm. So, went in and picked him up a battery, got the 24 volt wired up, all that good jazz. Nothing major here. Uh, Ham's bike broke a master link. So, it just cracked. So, I felt the vibration. I looked back, I saw the chain wobbling like a madman, shut it down and it had broke the master link so not a big deal uh by the way rivet type link haha -ha. uh, i didn't put it on neither scotty it's been on there for a while uh anyway that girl makes pop pop noises that's about it but he decided to reframe it anyway so i got that to do i've got brett's bike i'm waiting on the last few parts will be here in the next few days for scotty to start putting the motor together jimmy's priority one in the shop it should be done in the next couple days, at the latest. A couple days at the latest. Uh, let's see, Achilles is not doing anything with it. Silver bike is waiting for a specific check valve that is a pain in the dick to get. Uh, this one, uh, last part should be here this week, and I can put his motor back together, get it fired up, get it on, get it on the dyno. Warren's is done. 14 is done. Dennis has made huge strides on this today. He drilled the plenum, put the IAT sensor in. Bunch of other stuff. Uh, started laying out fuel system. He's he's making big strides on this. Uh, still debating whether or not we should just take that back out and let him work in the basement, but that's entirely at his discretion. I'll take it back if he wants. Uh, he's got to figure out what he's going to do about the quick shifter because it has a Woolwich quick shifter on it. Uh, not the OEM one, which the plug and play, I believe, is set up for an OEM one. So I got to check. But how he's got that quick shifter set up. But I think because we're going air shifter, it doesn't matter anyway. You just won't have quick shift. Uh, but Dennis is working through all that. So I am busy, busy this week. I have a motor to stuff in, rough tune and get to the track. I have a bike to finish up some wiring on, start up, rough tune, go to the track, finish tune that at the track. Uh, master links put on and tune. Head gasket to put in and send home. And this will be the start of next week's priorities. Cross my fingers. Uh, because I told him a target between Monday and Saturday of next week. Not this week, but next week. Uh, to come pick this girl up running. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a firestorm. The hardest part I got right now is figuring out this fast by gas trigger. Because this doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm going to call fast by gas tomorrow and see what the heck is going on with this. And if I'm missing pieces. Because this just makes no sense at all for a Hayabusa. I do believe there's a different trigger that I need. And I will probably holler at him and have that ordered. And we'll just tick it on his bill here and keep this thing going in the right direction. So, that's all I got. I am going to probably head home for the evening, get some good sleep, get up here good and early, and probably knock Totoro's out first. Because I'll be waiting for a few parts to come in in the afternoon for Jimmy's. And then Jimmy's goes on and we knock it out. I have the IAT sensor. I have the carbon sheet for the dash. I have the tablet. I am missing relays. And I could get those here in town if I need. But I ordered them already. So I might as well wait. Uh, but we'll make the deadline either way. So that's where I'm at. That's what I got going on. Y'all have a beautiful day.